This is a flexi pipe connector or a flexi tail. These are now very common in UK plumbing. You do see a lot of these in Europe as well. I'm not so sure about America because I've never been there. But these are very common. They are very easy to use because of their flexibility. So you don't have problems with positioning rigid pipes, etc. when you are connecting them. A lot of people don't like these because they don't trust them. So I've rigged this up to a pressure testing machine and we're now going to over pressurise it and we'll see just how much pressure it can actually take. So I've got the machine full of water and I'm just going to pump the handle until we get water coming out at the end of the flexi. So now I've got water at that end. Can now screw in the cap. And there is a rubber sealing washer in there. I'll now just tighten that up using a spanner. I've just actually removed the control knob from there and then you can actually see the pressure dial. So I've got the flexi connected here and we're now going to pressurise this and see exactly how much pressure it can take. I must say that these are actually rated to 16 bar of pressure but of course they should take considerably more than that. 16 bar is a safe working pressure. Whenever they test stuff like this they normally test it to at least twice what it can actually carry comfortably all day long. So I would expect it to take at least 30 bar before there's any problems with the flexi. It may even take more pressure than that. So I'm now going to start to pressurise the flexi. And we're now at 10 bar. See that the flexi is actually starting to strain out a bit. We're now almost at 20 bar. We're now at 30 bar. Now at 40 bar, you can see that the flexi really has stiffened up with that much pressure in it. Let's see if we can take it a bit further. This machine will go up to about 50 bar. So you can see that that now has 50 bar of pressure in it, which is about 725 psi. So you can see that that flexi tail can cope with extreme pressure. There is no way you would ever get anywhere near that in a domestic plumbing situation. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I do hope that that has given you some confidence in using flexi tails. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel.